Hey YouTube, how are you? Hey YouTube, how you doing? Hi y'all, shut up babe. Give me some water. He being mean, he being real mean to me y'all. Hi, if you're new here, my name is Quetta and I am living in sobriety, which means I don't drink, I don't do drugs, and my thinking is different. I'm gonna eat and talk because I'm kind of not mad. I like to stay positive all the time. So if you guys follow my channel, y'all know that I was going to go get my, um, oh, anyway, today I see my baby. So yes, I was up at three in the morning getting ready, but I had to leave out really, really early. I knew you loved me. Thank you. He gave me a Christmas cup with some water. Very true. He didn't mean because he was up playing the game all last night and he had to get up early because we had to go away far from where we live, which we discovered it wasn't that far. But anyway, I had to go get my kids beds today. We got to get the beds and the paperwork so I messed up. I've been waiting for this day for so long. And when I heard, because of all the things that are happening in my life, I guess, or always trying to keep a positive attitude, I wasn't upset. I just went ahead and made a negative out of positive and said, at least I've seen what the beds look like. And um, I got to like ride around the area that's different from mine and see different stores. And I, and I found out that my truck wouldn't fit, so I had a chance to get a bigger truck to make sure I get everything that I ordered. And the lady was really nice, and I didn't have to repay for nothing as far as the paperwork to get switched over, which was pretty good. And I always think a bad attitude doesn't make anything better. When you have a positive attitude and you're still nice and all naggy and beachy, um, things work out better and I don't be I'm not upset about it. I always look positive So the positive was I found out that the truck wasn't gonna even fit the stuff and um, <laughs> Look, this is what I eat. I have roast beef and chicken like no cheese no mayo I'm over the egg thing But yeah, and I got to see the beds and I got to measure the beds to the room So the girls will have a lot more room because the beds are for my girls for Emily and Ellie em Emily's three Ellie's two <laughs> Ethan, my son, he's six. He turned six, March seven. My little dude. But hold on. Oh. Hungry. It's good. The phone, the the the, the, <laughs> the spinach dip holding the phone up. My y'all business. My girl, Miss Wilson, was like, no videos? I'm like, I got you, boo. I was going to do it on putting the beds up today. But I said, I better come on here and tell y'all what happened with my morning. So overall, the lady was really nice. They had already called. So I'm already scheduled for Tuesday at 10 to pick the beds up. So that's cool. I got to see what I was getting. And I got to redecorate the room in my head. And I have to order another truck, which is good. I got the number to a guy who... Um, has a truck service and if his is too much I'll just get a U-Haul because I got my license now yesterday y'all I finally finished it all up I was very excited about passing my husband didn't pass y'all he think he knows so much so I'm done I go on the line like where is he at because he had the money on him he in a truck smoking I'm like I'm like what I'm like you fell he just started smiling I was cracking that because he think he know everything and he don't. He failed. I get to call him a dumbass for the rest of the year because he always think he knows stuff. And when he when he think he knows something and he actually know and I don't know, he rub it all in my face. But I felt bad, so I only called him a dumbass for yesterday. I'm not going to do it the rest of the year. So what's going on in y'all world? I stopped to see my mom and dad. It was cute. Every time I'm close to them, I always try to go see them. I've been going over it lately and I've been missing them. <laughs> Mm. I think it's so rude to talk and eat. <laughs> Baby, you want to tell the people how you um, passed your test yesterday? Baby? He ain't going to say nothing. I love you, babe. He right there. I know he hear me. I'm not calling you any name anymore. I love you, baby. It's okay. He thought. Actually, it's not because he can't drive or anything. Because he can really drive really well. And he, you know what I mean? But he took it as a joke. Because he figured he knew everything just from him driving. But you have to listen to the test question. You have to read the test question. You have to look at the answers. Read all the answers. And look at the picture they give you. 
we took the um, testing part yesterday, so I really have my temps. I gotta take the driving test, but temps are good for a year. Don't tell me that. So yeah, anyway, so yeah, I'm gonna go see my babies today. I'm excited. They will be coming home next week for the visits, and then after that, it's pretty much a wrap. So I went to the dollar store and got some more toothbrushes and went ahead and got some stuff. Matter of fact, yeah, we can do this. What did I get from the store? <clears throat> Let's see. Man, listen, I got some of this. Y'all know why? <laughs> I'm in a dollar store looking for hand sanitizer. And there's no hand sanitizer. I got some sprays in my house. I'm looking for hand sanitizer. There's no hand sanitizers. So I was talking to a lady like, there's no hand. I was like, you see the hand sanitizer? She's like, no. And there's none in Walmart. There's none at Target. There's none everywhere. She said she was in London and they had no hand sanitizer. So she was like, when I get back to the States, I'll find some. There is no hand sanitizer nowhere. So when I went in, I really started. And they, they selling these. And it was only limited to per customer. I should have had my husband going to get two more. They bought the Star trying to charge people 100 bucks on eBay for hand sanitizer. They bought to make the world crazy. When you got hand sanitizer, just give it away. People always trying to destroy something and mess up something. I tell my little sister, they're not going to be breaking the house for food. They ain't breaking the house for hand sanitizer. This is real. You know, I got these to go over my bed. I got these little picture things. I'll show you in a minute. These are, everything was a dollar. So amazing. I got these little... Um, these are the mirrors, a dollar. You can do so much with these. I can even paint them if I wanted to. And then I got, um, these were over my bed, they're little stickers. I'm gonna do something really cute with them. Yeah, so this is really serious. If y'all got that virus, I got the virus, God forbid. I guess y'all gotta um, cover your faces and just keep your hands washed. And I know soap works too, but in a minute they are gonna start taking laundry detergent and it's gonna be the bleach. I got some of these for my teeth. And got some Q-tips. And um, I got these sharpeners from my eyeliner. <laughs> I got these for the girls. These are cute. I got this one for Ethan. It's two brushes. Yeah, and I told my dad, my mom was saying how this is for the girls' table. How cute is this? So adorable. I couldn't find one Ethan. So my mom was saying how my dad wasn't gonna go to this appointment. I like you you can't not do that either. You better cover your face up and, and, and keep hands and entire with you or alcohol or something. But it's because my mom is kind of sick, so she can't go. So I said I'll go with him. Because overall it's your health. Either way, you can lose. So it's your health. You just gotta go do what you gotta do for both. So I told my mom that I will go with my dad to make sure that he has this appointment. Cause you gotta go to the doctors, even though I understand that it's very scary. Like my sister's not even going to the gym anymore. And our gym has a lot of people in it. And there's like people who travel a lot, like judges and doctors and lawyers and so forth. So you know they travel back and forth a lot. And this guy took his daughter to a dance, even though she was infected. I know that it's kind of scary to think something can happen and she didn't enjoy the dance, but you could have put some lights on at home you could have um, put some your favorite song on at home and danced in the house because it's kind of selfish. I get it because he was probably scared if something happens to her, he wanted to have that memory. But what about everybody else? This is getting serious. Anyway, this says, Be Joyful. This is stickers for my bed. It's wall stickers. And I got this one for my bed. <laughs> oh, positive. Mm -hmm. And this one says love. So I'm gonna put this probably in the hallway because I really like it. And then this is for my babies. Their names are gonna go in their room over their bed. Ethan, Emily, Ellie. So I got this one for the Ethan, and this one's for the girls because it's kind of like this color. So it's really cute. So and I got another one. And then I got this for my kitchen by my coffee. It's little donut stickers. How cool is that? <laughs> I'm not even eating my food. I got a fan. Who I think I am. When I do my makeup in the bathroom, it's really hot. So I was happy I ran into this. And all oh, this was a dollar. It's spent thirty dollars. Ouch. Baby, they got a crackers in the bottom of the bed. <laughs> I shouldn't have told them. I got some mousse for my curly wig. Yeah. And here's my second pair of sanitizers. Mm -hmm. 
I got this for my husband. Um, he shaves his head. So it's cocoa butter and Vaseline. Baby, I got you some more cocoa butter and Vaseline. I found this for a dollar. I should have stocked up. It's a body cream. I see girls use this and their skin looks so pretty. And this deodorant. I like to spray deodorant on my back and stuff when I got the shower. And I got these for my kids, you know, they're little um, freshness. You just open them up and it smells really good. So what's sobriety things? Before, I wouldn't have none of this. I would have spent it all on drinking and drugs. Wouldn't even been trying to buy this or I would have bought it with the thought of drinking in my head and bought minimum. That's what drugs and alcohol do to you. So yeah, I'm very excited when I buy little things like 30 bucks. <laughs> that would have been nothing even a drink for me. I spent 30 bucks pretty much on this stuff I just showed you guys. And I feel really great about it. I feel good when I'm doing positive, creative things. Putting my thought and my love into my family. What makes them happy. My home. Because you know your home is everything. When you come at home it's just like. Oh. Oh. Yes. And look around and it's pretty. So I'm very excited about it. I got things for everybody. For everything. For the house. Spray for the car. Everybody's happy with $30. Back in the day I wouldn't have done that. Like I said I would have done bare minimum. Because I got my drink in my mind all day. I'm so happy I don't have to be so um. Of so much um, overwhelmed with drinking and my next drink or what did I do yesterday and stuff like that it feels so good to not have to assess over alcohol all I do is assess over my meetings make have the willingness in the morning when I get up to stay clean and sober and to allow God in my life to do things for me and open me up help me realize things help me focus on things and I just and I appreciate him and I love him and I give him all the glory all the grace because I couldn't do this it was only God who did this for me and, and it's so amazing I'm seeing life and I'm loving it I would not go back to that crazy just crazy feeling I don't need it to do nothing I'm so excited you think drinking make everything better it makes everything worse for this girl some people can enjoy it some can get up the next day and be just normal not me and it makes your skin dry it makes you not sluggish and, and, and not feeling good you don't want to get up so I'm focused on my skin, taking care of myself, you know, growing my hair up under here. But yeah, so for the most part, everything's going well. I didn't get to get the kids' beds today, but I will. It's okay. God has something else for my life this morning. Maybe was talking to y'all, because there's some people who comment. And the one person commented and said that they were trying to get this person to drink on their birthday. And I'm like, if you don't drink, don't drink. Because you probably person that can't have a drink. You probably wind up in trouble or you'll probably wind up an alcoholic and they'd be somewhere living their life. Don't let nobody force you. And once you explain how you feel about drinking, if they still try to force you to drink, then you need to get away from them people. And if it's family, sometimes you got to deal with family from a distance. It's all about you and healthy and for you. Here in a fine food. <sighs> yeah, so, and then struggling with them. Anxiety, depression, mental health period. There's places you can go for help. There's people you can talk to in a church. There it is. Somebody in your life that, that knows you, you can trust and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Or just kind of y'all need to simply pray. God is always listening. He's always there. He's always listening. Even when you don't open the words and say out your mouth, he knows your heart and he'll get all up in there. And you'll be fine. My daughter is going to nursing school. I'm happy she's doing that. And um going to go with her Thursday. My granddaughter's getting shots in there up the street. Everybody copied off my kids' doctors. But my kids' doctors are awesome. Shout out to Dr. Ram and Dr. Bascar. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so for the most part, that's it. I'm going to eat this food because it's 1130. I see my kids at 2, so I'll leave here at 130. But I have to make sure I have everything. I'm going to make them some chicken nuggets and make even probably a burger. Excuse me, y'all. May eat the probably a burger and um, get that ready and see what snacks. Make sure I have Ellie's Pampers and wipes and baby powder. She love baby powder on her butt. She do, but she don't like to get on her hands or nothing. But she'd be like, I need a wipe. So cute. But, um, yeah, so that was a little bitty mini dollar store haul, I guess you will call it. And me eating my food and just going through the rest of my day. So at least I know where the place is now. It's easier to get to. 
um, knowing that the truck is not big enough, that's fine. And um, get, being able to see the beds was nice. And um, see them up close and personal. And I get the decorate still today. So it's always good to find a positive and a negative. Find two positives for one negative. My husband like to be kind of cranky when he hears stuff that'll go his way. I like, don't bring me down. It's okay, baby. So we, we, we make each other perfect. Anyway, guys, I'm going to get ready to go. That was 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to go visit my babies. I'll probably take that because I want to. Although, it's, you can't comment on, on kids' things anymore. I got some chips. <sighs> I had to cut out the dairy and cheese. Because after a certain time, it just builds up on me. And I got kind of heavy with the cheese. And I feel a lot better. I do. My husband said my fart. I don't fart no more. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm just wearing sweats today. Just sweats and this. That's my go to. I need to buy a couple more of these white ones. But anyway, guys, I'm going to finish my food. And thanks for listening. Just want to come on here let you guys know that I'm okay. I'm still good. Still happy. Still blessed. I'm still joyful. And I'm still good. So thanks to everybody who comments, everybody who thinks about me throughout their day, which is amazing and beautiful. Still let you know that the world is crazy, but it's still good. Okay, bye. I love y'all. Bye, Miss Wilson. I'll talk to you later, girl. Bye.